Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to clear browsing data for Google Chrome with Group Policy. For that case, we need to go on Google and look for Google Chrome template GPO because these templates are not exist in the Group Policy by default. So first thing, the Google support will come up. You will go here, download and download this one download Google Chrome bundles after you download it that's the folder and when you open it there is some configuration file here so we need to go here in the ADMX file and grab that Chrome file so I'll go there and copy it I need to go to C Windows find policy definition folder so I will find here policy definition before I copy that I will go under my group policy and show you something before so we need to apply that policy to the computer configurations not the users so I will go on the organization unit and create a group policy so apply clear browsing data and when I right click on it and go to edit go to computer configuration again policy and templates as you can see in group policy by default, the AMDX will be read from the local computer. So it will look into local computer. Since we need to, since this is the domain controller, we need to go in the C drive. First, copy the policy definitions, the whole directory. Copy it and go to syswall directory go to domain policies and copy the whole directory here after I open my group policy again this local computer will be changed to central store I will close this one again and go here and also go to download directory and grab that file go to admx find this one admx copy it back i'll go back to that directory to here and copy that file here Okay, now again I'll go back here, edit, and open the templates. It should change to central store and also I should have the Google folder in the list. So as you can see, it's here. I need to open it and apply some changes. I will click on the root here and we need to look for clear browsing data this one and also in this policy there are some options so we need to copy this one enable the rules and add it to the rules here so i will just copy and paste that option so I want to browsing history, also cookies and other site data. So I will go here, show, and copy it here. Also change cache images. Click again. So you, you can add whatever you want. Password sign in, cache, download history. For now, I just have this one, maybe download history.
so this item is added now and also I need to disable the synchronization otherwise it doesn't work disable synchronization so disable synchronization I need to enable these rules apply so disable synchronization is enabled and also clear browsing story data if I close my group policy and open this one go to settings to review what is there so clear browsing data that's the items I added and also disable synchronization of data with Google so by that case the data will not sync with your Google Chrome Uh, don't forget that this policy need to be applied to the computers not the users so in my active directory I have a two organization unit one of them is for only computers another one for users and I apply this policy to this organization unit in group policy one more thing I forget to mention here is that when we copy the policies from this C Windows policy definition into the Syswell directory, another way to reach that is go to backslash file explorer and go to backslash backslash your domain admin tips dot local Syswell directory again your fully qualified domain name policies policy definition so this location is exactly same when you go to C Windows syswall and policies and policy definition that's the same location I just would mention it but in domain controllers and uh, in Microsoft documents you will find it something like this so the format is like your admin, your domains, syswall, fully qualified domain name, policies, and policy definitions. So the ADM file and ADMX file are added to these locations. So that's the example provided by Microsoft. Now I will go back to my client side. So I already have a Google Chrome open here with some websites already browsing and if I want to show you I have some like Yahoo and other websites are here so if I close it now and reopen it So still Yahoo is there it means the browsing data is not cleared yet because I did not apply the group policy so I go back to my group to my domain controller and do the GP update for the slash force also go back to my client side and do the same GP update for slash force after the policy was pushed from the domain controller if I close my Google Chrome the browsing history data will be wiped and will be deleted so I want to test it now okay as you can see everything is gone again I will open like yahoo.com so it's there if I open another tab 
the Yahoo is here. I can try another website like apple.com. And if I go here, the, the Apple is here added. If I close my Outlook again, sorry, if I close my Google Chrome again and open it, so nothing is here. So it, it looks the policy is applied and if I go back here it's showing managing by your organization so it means the policy is pushed from the server and it's working if you learn something from my video please subscribe to my channel for more tips